But we begin with the latest from President Trump, continuing his midterm PR blitz with a combative interview sounding off on his defense secretary, his relationship with Putin, and his attacks on Christine Blasey Ford during that contentious Supreme Court battle. Our senior national correspondent, Terry Moran, starts us off from Washington. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, George. All of a sudden, it seems Donald Trump is everywhere, holding forth on the White House lawn in interview after interview, a torrent of words aimed at rallying the Republican troops before those midterm elections. But this interview with 60 Minutes, it was a doozy. With Donald Trump's approval ratings on the rise, the president is taking a victory lap in a fiery new interview. There has been no administration in the history of our country, and I say this openly and proudly, that in its first two modestly. years... modestly. Well, it's not even that. It's, it's a fact. Uh, tax cuts, regulation cuts, the biggest regulation cuts in history. Nobody's been able to do what I've been able to do. Remember that. When you look at taxes, you look at regulations, you look at uh, making deals with other countries, nobody's been able to do anything like this. Actually, most people didn't even try because they knew they didn't have the ability to do it. But it's a very deceptive world. The other thing I've really learned is I never knew how dishonest the media was. I, I, I really mean it. I'm not saying that as a soundbite. I never I, I can, knew how I'm, dishonest. I'm going to change the subject again. Well, no, but even the way you ask me a question, like about separation. Yeah. When I say Obama did it, you don't want to talk about no, it. No, I disagree, but I don't want to have that fight with you. Hey, All it's right, okay. We have another fight with you. Leslie, okay. it's okay. In the meantime, right. I'm president and you're not. Time. But President Trump's approach on other issues has come at a cost, dividing the country. How did you get home? I don't remember. How'd you get there? I don't remember. Where is the place? I don't remember. Including his mocking of Christine Blasey Ford just days before Justice Brett Kavanaugh was confirmed. I had I not made that speech, we would not have won. I was just saying she didn't seem to know anything. Do you think you treated her with great respect? I think so, yeah, I did. But you seem to be saying that she lied. Uh, well, you know what? I'm not going to get into it because we won. It doesn't matter. Well, we won. The wide-ranging conversation turned to his lack of trust for some in his own administration, but his positive feelings for world leaders like Kim Jong-un. I get along with him really well. I have a good energy with him. I have a good chemistry with him. Look at the horrible threats that were made. No more threats. No more threats. Who uh, presides over a cruel kingdom of repression, gulags, starvation, uh, reports that he had his half-brother assassinated, slave labor, public executions. This is a guy you love. I know love. all these things. I mean, I'm not a baby. I know, I know all these things. I know, but why do you love that guy? Look, look. Mm. I, have, I, I, like, I get along with him, okay? The president also addressed his relationship with Vladimir Putin. I think I'm very tough with him personally. I had a meeting with him, the two of us. Yeah. Okay. It was a very tough meeting, and it was a very good meeting. Do you agree that Vladimir Putin is involved in assassinations, in poisonings? Probably he is, yeah, probably. I mean, I don't... Probably? Do, do I, probably, but I rely on them. It's not in our country. Okay. And as far as the Russian attack on the 2016 election? They meddled. But I think China meddled too. China this is, is a bigger problem. You're t diverting the whole Russian I'm thing. I'm not doing you anything. Are, I'm are. saying Russia, but I'm also saying China. And as the Mueller investigation grinds on, the president won't say if he will shut down the probe. I don't pledge anything, but I will tell you, I have no intention of doing that. I think it's a very unfair investigation because there was no collusion of any kind. Calling the investigation a witch hunt. Do you really think I'd call Russia to help me with an election? Give me a break. They wouldn't be able to help me at all call Russia. It's so ridiculous. And with reports of chaos in the West Wing, President Trump acknowledges he's not completely thrilled with his current cabinet lineup. Asked if Defense Secretary James Mattis might be the next official to leave? I don't know. He hasn't told me that. You I have a very good relationship leave? with him. It could be that he is. I think he's sort of a Democrat, if you want to know the truth. But General Mattis is a good guy. We get along very well. He may leave. I mean, at some point, everybody leaves. Everybody. People leave. That's Washington. In Trump's Washington, they leave with a little more frequency. But as you see there, uh, this is a president who right now in Washington and out on the campaign trails firing on all cylinders. Yeah, he is ready for battle, Terry. In the meantime, he was also pressed on climate change in the wake of that dire U.N. report last week. 
He was, and that's interesting. He once called climate change a hoax perpetrated by the Chinese. He now accepts that it's happening, but he says uh, he's not sure it's caused by man-made emissions. He doesn't want to do anything that might harm the U.S. economy to abate it, and he says it might reverse itself of its own accord. So he's not going to do anything about it. Okay, Terry Moran, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.